guys. Welcome to another episode of Fandom Family Chats. I'm your host, Maureen, and today we're joined with Josh. Hey. And Bethany. Hi. And Amanda. Hello. And our very, very special guest is Rini Bell. <laughs> yes. she, was, she played Lulu on Gilmore Girls amongst a lot of other of our fan favorites. So we are excited to talk with her. Now, we, we, Nicole, we interviewed Nicole Bilderback, Nikki Bilderback. Oh, God. And, oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and we are well Lisa and, ben and I think Bethany and Josh I'm not really sure where, where era you are in this but we're a, we love bringing on oh great <laughs> one of our favorite things and you <laughs> of course are in bringing on so we we're like oh, we'll bring it on reunion that would be great <laughs> no I know we didn't have as much reunion stuff with bring it on but well there's still yeah I say there's a Fair crossover, Gilmore and Bring It On. And that was the first thing I'd ever seen you in. So the moment you appeared on Gilmore Girls, I was like, oh, I know who she is. Because that's one of, that was one of my high school movies that I watched on repeat. And Amanda oh my God, is- yeah, That's what I hear with, with, with Bring It On fans. It's like that they would watch it like while they were doing all the, just like, yeah, it's in the background. Oh yeah. And I think Amanda is probably our biggest- Bring it on, fan. Anytime there's any one of you from that movie in any of the shows we watch, she's like, guys, you know what they're from, right? They're from Bring It On. You know that, right? So it was, so it was cool. a movie like I grew, I, you know, that was in my high school. Like I just kind of grew up with it. It was my high school because I left home as a young teenager to act and I didn't go to, pro- I didn't complete proper high school. I barely did any. I did mostly um, by uh, just like, we understand what that means <laughs> what's that yeah okay yeah josh and i were homeschooled so we understand what non-traditional high school means <laughs> yeah so yeah so so when i did so when we did that movie i was like this is it this is high school <laughs> i'm having because everybody was was like young and we all just ran around in a pack like high school people <laughs> this is what everyone was talking about (laughs) totally i'm like see we're all day got my high school experience (laughs) that was exactly it yeah (laughs) yeah we we lived it (laughs) yeah i was never a cheerleader but i wanted to be and bring it on let me be that cheerleader in my head like yeah mm -hmm. (laughs) perfect yeah (laughs) so what you said you left home at 14 to to Um, ask yeah, I was like, yeah, um, I, 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 um, I, the reason is random, but <laughs> I, I had, um, I already, I was living in New Orleans and I already had, um, I was already set up in New York with, uh, agents and, um, I, I used to go there and do castings in the summer and I went to France for a while. I have a, I, I also partially grew up in the Paris region, Ooh. region and, um, I was spending some time there, uh, pursuing some acting stuff there. And uh, while I was there, I don't know, my agent was was like, you need to come to New York, it's all happening. And when I got home, I was like, will you tell my mom that? <laughs> <laughs> and so my mom was like, oh, I guess I have to. I don't know, I was just manipulating her. And, um, <laughs> and I was just, yeah, I moved to New York. So I moved out here shortly after. Okay. Wow. What, what inspired this acting bug? Um. Yeah, I was recently asked that uh, on a podcast. It was, um, <laughs> again, even though I'm super, super young, <laughs> it was <laughs> the silence of the lambs just kind of like hit me over the head with it. I was really? Like, I do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, okay that's what i've never you heard anthony hopkins never... character or just want to play somebody else <laughs> the Jodie foster character okay. i was at an okay. age i was very i was exposed to horror at a very young age and became strangely obsessed like at 12 and um <laughs> yeah maybe younger even i was just like because of the exposure i became obsessed some of you might i don't know some of my horror friends relate they're like yeah I too was traumatized and then <laughs> <laughs> and so that was part of it it was like a horror movie that I've been dying to see but not allowed and then I saw it and I was like this is everything I want out of life <laughs> <laughs> and it's an amazing performance duh and it's just an insane film but anyway it was just the timing of that that was it it, it, it and I yeah I had some good experiences doing theater and stuff so that's awesome. Thanks. I'm just yeah. glad to hear you didn't want to be Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> so, I didn't say that. <laughs> I would love to be Anthony Hopkins. Are you kidding? I'd be Anthony Hopkins tomorrow if I could just like slide in his body. 
yeah, film by Kirk part three. <laughs> that? I said a film by Kirk part three. <laughs> That makes perfect oh, sense. Oh, <laughs> your background is theater. That's that's where you started was in theater before you got into acting. Well, Local I mean it's theater. all acting. Theater is acting. I don't mean to downgrade that. I meant like theater before but that sport. medium of acting. Yeah. I played a Siamese twin in my like second grade production of The King and I. Yeah. Oh, that would today. <laughs> I don't think that would happen today. <laughs> Plus, there's no Siamese people. That's not even a thing. Whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was like that. I just had such a great time. I just loved it. That was just local theater, and then um, yeah, and then I got involved in certain, I don't know, some some little indie movies and. Okay. That's I awesome. I personally love local theater. I think it's oh, more yeah. beneficial than anyone gives it credit for. It's it's a big it's a big word local theater. It could be anything. You know, there are people who just put their hearts and souls in it and are, are wonderful. And it's really just the person who puts it together at the local <laughs> level. I guess <laughs> <laughs> like a really bad person, but uh, it's like yeah, the people involved are definitely doing it from the heart, and it was so much fun. It was. Just, mm-hmm. That's awesome. Very good memory. <laughs> it's good i think it's important you guys are really tickling my little memory bones i'm like that is so funny that we're talking about this. that's what we like to do yes <laughs> way back <laughs> way back <laughs> so, so when you were did... a newborn baby and you had all these thoughts no i'm just kidding <laughs> well, do you guys, i don't know i think little girls do this i don't know but tell me if i'm wrong like there's a phase where you're like i'm going to be a ballerina, a Absolutely. veterinarian, oh, yeah. boys yeah. too. Yeah, I'm gonna be like a doctor. I'm gonna, you know, be the president. It's like I want to be everything. And an actor was in there, but then it was like I need to. When I was about eleven years, so I was like, I need to get serious and make a decision. <laughs> oh, and yeah. I don't know. I got. I was really serious or something. But that's that awesome for an eleven-year-old to think that. Yeah. You know, hey, I'm gonna, you know, take a next serious step. You know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if it's cool or not, but I don't know. It is. I think at 11, I was wondering if that boy was in the McDonald's. Yeah. (laughs) What's that? So. I said, I think when I was 11, I was just wondering, you know, what worried about what next toy was going to be in the McDonald's Happy Meals. So that was a big deal. Yeah. To be <laughs> fair, that was, was a big, big deal. deal. Well, that is. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. So different. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. My- my daughter, who is about to be 11 next month, she is, oh, wow. every time we do one of these podcasts, if, whether it's an, if it's an actress, mom, I'm going to be an actress. I want to be just like that person. And we interviewed Taryn Dreyfout, who I'm I'm not sure if you talked to. She, I don't know if she announced you or not, but she did the the Gilmore books. I've been Gilmored and Oh um, God, totally. Oh yeah. yeah. And the oh, next one that's crazy. coming out where she interviewed all the casting crew or a lot of the casting crew. Yeah. We yeah. interviewed her. And my daughter's like, I'm gonna be a writer. That's what I'm Aww. gonna do. So it's like I'm gonna be I'm gonna move to New Zealand and have a great yep. little accent. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's really what exactly. it was all about was the exact accent. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> to be fair, I would move to Ireland or Britain, Britain for the same reason. So, I mean, uh, right? Yeah. yeah. Used to have the amazing accent. Yeah. <laughs> we were at a graduation cool. party the other day for some my friend's son, so I didn't know this person who was there, but it was his friend's mother, and she was from Ireland, and I just sat there staring at her. I had no idea. I never met her before. I don't even think I introduced myself to her at the party. Yeah. <laughs> Talking, I was just staring at her every time she'd open her mouth. Like, yeah, it's a really charming accent. And there's so few of them, it seems like. Yes. Probably right. In general. I know. You don't hear it very often. No. Is that something you do as accents? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'm big into French accents because I grew up bilingual. And um, I can do a decent French accent. And I um, can do an okay British accent. I have to practice it. And Southern because I'm also from the South. And my dad was from Mississippi. Awesome. And... I think Russian's kind of easy, but I'm not like. Kind of easy. That's all. I don't know <laughs> yeah, I think a Russian accent's pretty easy to do for an American mouth, but uh, it's it's also like what goes with it. I don't really know that much about the culture. Those are my main accents, though. Okay. Can we get yeah. any samples of any of those? <laughs> <laughs> I can do French accents right now. That one is always available to me. Oh, oh you wow. slipped right into that so fast. That, that one is my is easy for me. 
<laughs> wow. Because you grew up in New Orleans, is that correct? Yes, and I also grew up in Europe. Uh, oh, wow. I went to a French school. We were in Switzerland and Rome, and um, part of high school I was in uh, Paris. Wow. Um, yeah, and awesome. then New Orleans. So that's your second. That's your second accent. <laughs> yeah, I learned to read and write in French first, even though my parents are American. Wow. So it's what? A very handy secret language. What? If your parents are American, both of them are American. What? What yeah. caused the move to Europe? My, they were living in New York. My dad was an architect. He got a job in Rome. My mom hated it. My dad loved it. So they compromised. He got a job in Rome. That's how they tell me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so they were compromised to Rome. And then he changed careers and we moved to Switzerland so he could study at the Jung Institute to become a Jungian psychoanalyst, which at the time, that was the only place you could, uh, you could do it. Okay. Um, wow. Now they're everywhere. Now they have Jung Institutes in almost every town. Or in the last That's fascinating. Psycho, psychoanalyst? Yeah. Do you know like Carl Jung? He's like a contemporary of Freud. They were actually together for a while and they split. That is oh, wow. really cool. That is awesome. Yeah. Look he was that. a Swiss man. He was from Zurich. That is where we live. That is where the Jung Institute still is. <laughs> wow. He's very cool. Nice. So you had an interesting upbringing. I love that. Yeah. Did you have a favorite country that you lived in? France. I'm always like, I always have one toe in France. Like, yeah. <laughs> in Paris. yeah. I'm still floored that your mom didn't like Rome. <laughs> no, she did. She didn't like New York. Oh, oh. They okay. stayed that in Rome sense. for like six years. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering. That makes more you sense. You said they compromised yeah. and moved to Rome. I was like, wow. So that she just they compromised on New York by moving to Rome gotcha. so he could still okay. do his work and she could live somewhere she wanted to live. I got you. That's cool. That would be amazing. That's my, like, that's my, I want to go to Italy so bad. It almost hurts. So that's, that's amazing. Italy, you get to wow. Yeah. I'd like to go back to. Mm-hmm. So it seems there. beautiful. I've never been, but that's on my bucket list. <laughs> They're so nice. Like I took my little dog and this uh-huh. man came over and he took his little face in his hand. And he, oh, and so he said, beautiful. And he like kissed oh. him in the forehead. I was like, this is so fun. That is so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, that's what I'd love to see. I'd love to see like a, an episode of Lulu and Kirk, like just take, you there know, you go. Europe, Petunia. something like that. Yeah. They awesome. got to take Petunia somewhere. <laughs> just smooching up exactly. Petunia. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Petunia or Petals? I'm, I'm, petals, the petals. Petals, petals, the pig. Petals. Well, petal. I guess Petunia. I don't know. Petunia's another Petals word. of Petunia. It's her middle name. <laughs> petal Petunia. <laughs> petunia Petal. I mean, there that seems like a Kirk Lulu name, if we're being honest. <laughs> it does. Totally. <laughs> of course yeah so what it was do you think back to when you first auditioned for Gil, for the part of lulu did you audition for lulu or did you just audition for gilmore girls and they thought she's perfect for lulu i auditioned for lulu but i had auditioned previously for like three or four things that were all at uh rory school oh, oh. Center oh wow. yeah i was auditioning for like mostly rory contemporaries i must have changed they suddenly thought i was a townsperson <laughs> <laughs> Stuff. So, uh, yeah so I auditioned for that I remember um remember I was like uh having a little bit of a style influence I was into wearing flowers in my hair glitter pink yep and uh and loves pink. And I, yeah I know Lulu loves pink it was just yes. like yeah. and I went with all my little glitter and flowers and such to the audition and um and later on, oh, I remember, I noticed a woman looking at me later on, um, uh, Deborah, who is the, the um, costume designer, told me, she, we came in, at, when I got the job, she was like, ah, I thought you'd get the job. You have that look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah. So, we were yeah, literally just, just watching the, the little clip a minute ago of, of uh, this is greater than your love of pink. And I was like, I, that's, that's a pink pink scene. <laughs> But when you said pink, and that was the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, everybody ah. thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, give me back the ribbon. This is bigger than your love of pink. No. <laughs> she just shows that tantrum. It's just so well played. It's just so, so great. <laughs> yes, <you>. absolutely. <laughs> so what what is your favorite Gilmore Girls episode? We're talking about our favorite like scenes, but what's your favorite Gilmore Girls episode? Well, the one I always say is, because this is for selfish reasons, was the day that um, Kirk drives through the diner window in his car. I saw that last <laughs> night. I'm okay. 
I'm okay. <laughs> you brought up Meg Amazing, yeah. And it was like the most electric vibe on set. It was like, it's all happening. And then it exploded. And I was like, oh my God. It was so exciting. It was like an action movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so that's my favorite. That's why. Yeah, just so much fun. <laughs> Okay. My husband belly laughs at that scene so hard that no sound comes out. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> great. <laughs> <That's so cute. laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we were just watching that episode last night and it's just such an amazing like, you know, Kirk and Lulu moment, but it's just so cool to, you know, it's to see that whole thing. Like you said, it's like an action movie or, or as Rory put it later in the episode, like a scene from Fast and Furious, yet it's Gilmore Girls and Stars Hollow. I was like, what? <laughs> Exactly. Like family. And Taylor's in some family. gadget overhanging everybody with like, do you guys remember that? He's like in some crane oh, or something. Yeah. Hanging over oh, the yeah. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, oh, when he was in the box. Right? He's he in the box the on. Set at the box. Yeah, yeah, it was like a, uh, uh, what was it, a plexiglass box or something like that, right? I, guess it was, it was I right. think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just it was so fun. To do. It was, was so fun. fun. Oh yeah. But what I love about Lulu is that she brings she's just as quirky as Kirk, but in a much more subtle, subdued way. Like Kirk is just yeah. like, well, I want to be in your head for like five mm -hmm. minutes because that's all I can handle before I'm like, where am I? <laughs> but Lulu is she's just as quirky to handle him, but she's just so much more sweet and like uh, there's like a normalcy to her quirk. Right. She's a, like women, I guess, have an easier time sort of, yeah. like, <laughs> I don't know, assimilating her. Yeah. Thing. I don't know. It's think, like she grounds that. Kirk while still like understanding his quirkiness, yet she's like his foundation. So it's kind of like it kind of yeah. it balances out yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, and sort of maybe validates his, his like, I don't know, makes him seem a little more valid. Yeah. Because he's, he's, um, I don't know. Some people were saying, uh, had conversations with with some fans that are kind of kind of cool talking about how Kirk's actually a really sweet person mm -hmm. and and once he's with Lulu it gives him an opportunity to sort of um express that and and for that to be a little clearer and um, he gets to actually take care of somebody and oh, yeah know, yeah and like gets to be a boyfriend that actually uh, yeah. brings me to a question a friend of mine asked me because she knew uh we were having this interview today so she's like can you ask her a question for me can you see what what would um what was it like being kirk's girlfriend and her name is shauna so she's a super fan so awesome. my favorite <laughs> yeah um uh it was great mainly because I, I just found it so funny like we'd have these table reads and I would just laugh so hard and like the Kirk stuff was so funny to me it was just like and then and so after laughing knowing what was coming a lot and then and then doing it and it was just like it was just so easy like he was just really funny and and the right I love the writing and mm -hmm. I don't know I felt like it was just like very easy flow um it was it was one of the more fun character. Well, okay, there's a lot of quirkiness on this show. There's definitely, <laughs> definitely a lot of fun to just kind of like just colorful and good energy to it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and we love the scene where he's like, "My girlfriend is sitting over here." My you know? Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, I personally like it when it's my girlfriend's the whore. My girlfriend's the whore. <laughs> you got to play that scene where you're trying to follow his stage mom directions, and you're in front of Taylor, yeah. and like you're contorting your body. It's, it gets me every single time. That's just perfect. Oh, it was so fun. It was so fun. Lulu is such a trooper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> now remind me did you come in i'm trying to because i feel like kirk was talking to lorelei about the date when she was starting to open the dragonfly which would be season four is that correct is that when you appeared yeah. season four i okay. believe it was like, maybe the last episode of season four or the last episode of season three was it like three maybe that's wrong because the last episode of season four is uh the luke lorelei kiss and the dean and rory no, no. The opening of the... Maybe I wasn't in the last I... season. I don't really remember that well. I want to say four, though. Right? The one where... I we're, think we're... you were in the end. I think you might have appeared in the end of three, but you were certainly in four, I think, as the inn okay. was building up, because there was... When they opened the inn, and you and Kirk were about to go to bed, and he had to shout to Luke to come follow him. <laughs> yeah. years, you couldn't see him like that. My but... bad. It's all like... <laughs> trying to get your attention. I th no, she said, Luke, I think Kirk wants to sleep with you. <laughs> 
<laughs> but were you a fan prior to, I know you said you auditioned for a few parts before then, but were you a fan of the show before going on it? I had seen it, like maybe I had seen it just a, a little bit of it. It was, you know, on TV and I wasn't really in a habit of, of sitting down at a certain time and watching shows at that particular point in my life. I was sort of not as TV. I was watching weirder shit, like stuff. <laughs> 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 um, uh, so I hadn't, no, I, I, I wasn't really a fan. I didn't really watch the show in its entirety until I started interacting with uh, fans who would kind of talk about more specific parts, things I wasn't even in. <laughs> episodes I wasn't you know present for, and I was like, I didn't even know that, and I felt ridiculous. That's where you just and nod and smile. You just nod right. and yeah. Yes. Totally, I'd be like, I don't know, yes. <laughs> and then I watched it and it really helped me to feel more <laughs> in control. And, um, and then I got to have a little more of a, uh, an appreciation for the show. Mm -hmm. No. Awesome. John Cabrera is also one who never ever watched it until this year yeah. he started doing the rewatch so was that yeah did you was there kind of ceremony when you were doing the rewatch or was it just like you know I'm just gonna binge this or I'm just gonna watch this when I feel like I'm sitting down like what was your process to go because it's it's only seven seasons but it feels a lot more to oh, me it feels Maybe like just a lifetime, I've yeah. been obsessed with it well he made months. a whole ceremony out of it which is amazing uh no I did not I just turned it on and I was like here we go. <laughs> it's so long. I mean, it's like really intimidating. You look at it, and you're like, oh my god. It's so it's good. a lot to watch all at once. If you looking at doing it yeah. all at once, it's it is intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. I do a rewatch once a year, sometimes twice a year. So I'm more used to it by now. That's but so I also great. I also watch it when my kids are asleep and that's that's what I do with my time at night is just binge watch girls on repeat. Yeah. So it's a lot oh, easier. Great. When you started watching yeah. it, did you did you binge watch it or did you just watch a couple episodes or? I, I, I just watched it whenever I could. Um, no, I wouldn't say I binge watched it, but I did watch it all in one fell swoop. I like I wasn't watching other things so much. I just didn't sit down and watch it because some people have yes. Yeah. Some people live life. lives. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> some people have lives outside of TV. What? <laughs> what? That makes me feel a little before. guilty for seeing it about you know twelve times, but you know <laughs> what life? <laughs> I have no life. So <laughs> well, good for you because that sounds fun. But um, yeah, so you've seen it all now, right? Yeah. In our Facebook group, there is nothing, nothing that gets them more riled up. And our Facebook group is, I think it's over ten thousand, right? Is that right, Amanda? Uh, we have like seventy eight hundred. 7,800. Okay. So cool. nothing gets them more riled up than are you team Logan or are you team Jess? So oh, goodness. Or are you team Dean? Like I'm, I'm curious if you have a preference on, even if you want to go overall on the show, do you have a preference of a relationship that you really liked? Yeah. You really got to watch the show to have an informed opinion about that. Mm -hmm. And the honest truth is that I don't remember that many details to be have a really informed opinion, but I have a, like a general opinion. And I did put my foot in it when I was like, um what was it on on john's phone on john's uh watching yeah. i did one of them and it was like what is his name um D digger or whatever oh jason so, yeah. Yeah. I think he's kind of fun with her i would like yeah. to see more i like seeing them together because they like they they go at it kind of they like kind of <laughs> slicey with each other right and everyone was like how dare you he's oh really gross. <laughs> I'm like, no, he is gross, but I think she can handle it. I'm like, she's taking, I like, it's fun, you know? But um, I'm like, well, you want to be with someone gross? I'm like, no, kind of, just because it's entertaining. Not it is. It they were fun like, to watch together. Thank you. But I like, I got a lot of flack for that. <laughs> I, I think. He, the fans he's like a uh i don't want to say a fan favorite what's the opposite of fan favorite you it's know like yeah. an anti-hero anti yeah. yeah i think yeah. the fans kind of yeah he is gross he like calls her boob names and stuff <laughs> you know, he had stuff. one good episode Oolots. that was the grocery store Oolots, oh, yeah. Oolots, yep. Oolots, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah but he let her call him digger four times before he came up with umlauts <laughs> <laughs> What were we gonna say, Josh? Anyway, my favorite is Logan because yes. Okay, sorry. Okay, hey. <laughs> I don't get a lot of Logan. Logan he's excited because I feel like he's you know like more just just across the board fun. Mm -hmm. He parties. He travels. 
he's funny. Mm-hmm. Let's keep it simple. And the rest of yeah. them, the other two are like, oh, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of like, I don't know. You didn't listen to me. <laughs> you know, like it. You know, and I'm like, <laughs> you never really get yes. that from Logan. That's the best. That can work for both Jess and Dean. So Indeed. that was amazing. <laughs> that, that was perfect. I mean, the rest right. of you are like into Jess and Dean because you're all silent. <laughs> oh no, I'm Team Logan. Yep. We actually okay, I just okay. want you to be quiet. <laughs> right. Okay, got it. Cool, cool. I'm also, not, it's not a big deal. Like she, you know, she gets kind of goes back and forth with all three of them. She doesn't know what you know. Uh, yeah. so. <laughs> I thought you were we being can't like, decide, she can't decide. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I thought you were going to say Team Kirk, forget the rest of them. <laughs> I know, I would. I would say Team Kirk, but I don't want to give anyone any ideas. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want Roy to get any ideas. Uh-oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's my Lulu. That's <laughs> true, yeah. He's already spoken for for Lorelai yeah. when they were playing that Who's Your Daddy game. So I mean, <laughs> it was one, two, three, he's yours. And they, the sheep, Lorelai passed on the first two, and the third one was Kirk. <laughs> And then oh, they made him really right. uncomfortable and she's like no Kirk come back I love you so like, oh. <laughs> there we go so oh, Josh is the one who we don't know what team he's on uh he's I'm, never I'm, committed. I'm really not team Logan and I'm <laughs> definitely not team Dean so that maybe tells you enough but <laughs> yeah no, I, I'm kind of on team Jess and I'm kind of on uh how do I say grown-up team Jess so mm-hmm. yeah. you know where right. he's kind of worked out most of his issues I think yeah that makes sense like it wouldn't you know. be bad to wasn't he like a didn't he become a, a successful writer. writer yeah he was a, yeah See, that's writer. not everybody wants to be a, with a successful writer but nobody wants to be with a moody teen writer who has potential that's Bingo. right <laughs> <laughs> that's where they get their material from so that's how they become adult writer right, right? wait it out <laughs> You have to wait it out. It'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> I do have to say, I commend you for choosing one of Lorelai's other guys as a favorite because you'll notice there's no debate on Team Christopher or Team Luke or any of that. It's just yeah, well, it's Lorelai and Luke, but there's only teams yeah. for Rory because there's only ever been one guy for 90% of fans for Lorelai. So I commend you for being yeah. brave enough to say Jason Styles. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a little more fun honestly he's kind of i'll fun. agree with that yeah i side with you a, a, a little bit on that what's this fool gonna say next you know <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of them are just like i'm sweet yeah i love that <laughs> that's good so when you were filming how many days like you did the table read how long because i'm trying to remember it was so long ago when it first premiered it was a week in between Right? Were you guys filming as new episodes were coming out? Uh, yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm not someone who's particularly aware of my environment. I sort of like, I'm just kind of like, oh, look. Oh, guess I gotta, okay, I'll be there. And then I show up and I'm not really aware of like when the last time I was there was or um that's a little bit deliberate because i i'm sort of a a very easily overstimulated person and i Mm kind of just want to keep my little blinders on and be in my little actory world um sort of protect that little delicate world (laughs) that i choose to spend the majority of my life in um so there's that but um when you ask for their new app i don't understand i don't know i don't mean i don't know exactly what you mean (laughs) <laughs> um I, I don't some shows they are still filming like they'll be filming the second half when the first half episodes are coming out on tv and syndication oh, oh um i don't remember that doesn't mean it wasn't happening but i don't remember that now <laughs> i because i was curious because i know that a lot of shows they're like shrouded in secrecy so you can't say anything and so i was just wondering if like that was kind of i never had that happened. no one ever told me not to say anything it's true that's like a thing now <laughs> Yeah. it's a yeah. huge thing now it have is, you experienced yeah. that in any of your current jobs or projects you're working on that you can't say anything to anybody about anything it's to the point where even if no one tells me not to say anything it's just i insane. still feel like i don't know if i can say anything you're just gonna be quiet <laughs> like we're in the you know some sort of cia or something <laughs> <laughs> kind of kind of so oh, dramatic man. so do you have any similarities with with lulu 
I mean, you personally, I mean, it's, it, I mean, I almost feel like we're talking with Lily right now, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I take that as a compliment. It I, is, it's an absolute compliment. A huge compliment. Aww. Yeah, so I, I, I definitely have a dark side and I love playing like messed up characters, but most of the time I don't. <laughs> most of the time I play like, that's not true, whatever. Sometimes I, it's usually comedy is my point, but usually co sometimes comedy is dark, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's, I just, um, when I was playing Lulu, it felt like this very clean little sort of pretty world that I was just sort of hanging out in. It just felt very pleasant. It didn't feel like I had a super dark side. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I have a feeling Lulu probably did. <laughs> I mean, it she was my nice. dark. I mean, was well, dark. yeah, that would have been really fun if it went dark. Yeah. Um, but the, because it was just um, the nature of like, the world of stars hollow it just felt so pleasant wholesome. and yeah. yeah wholesome and just a lot of happiness um so for me it felt like i got to just kind of hang out in that part of myself for the comedy to work if i went dark it wouldn't work <laughs> it would have been awkward it wouldn't have been funny it would have been bad i'm pretty sure and uh <laughs> kirk, kirk wouldn't yeah. have noticed either way so <laughs> what's that Kirk wouldn't have noticed either way, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, no, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there was definitely, there always is. I, I don't even know sometimes like, you know, what the heck I'm doing. But yeah, it definitely felt like me in in those in those circum in those imaginary circumstances. Mm -hmm. Little <laughs> acting work class. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <Lingo. awesome. laughs> now you had mentioned the costume director said, I thought you had the part. Was it your style <laughs> yes. influence that dressed Lulu or that gave her kind of her? I was told much later that I was, uh, my, that Lulu's style was mainly uh, taken out off of uh, the costumer, um, costume assistant, um, uh, Va Valerie Campbell. Okay. The kind of person who would um, have a dream and then wake up and like create a, 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 a um, I'm trying to think of the word for what do you call it when you're cooking and you put this apron, oh, the apron. Like, apron. make an apron right and she was just like she'd bind a book in leather she's just she's to say like a maniac creative person just like out of her mind creative and so her her clothing was just kind of colorful patchworky there's always like 19 fanny packs <laughs> like, <laughs> like many, many pockets and um and uh and she's also very pretty and there's a, there's a femininity about her mm -hmm. very like um kind of 1920s vibe too okay. anyway so um that's what I was told later on is that they they fashioned my style off of her I didn't know that I thought it was just because wow. I came in with that flower that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm glitter>. <laughs> <laughs> that's the official story you know <laughs> I'm sure it's like yeah probably like Valerie and I had some sort of things yeah in some overlap yeah there it's is fun, one scene of Lulu's when she goes up to the counter to talk to Luke and she's got this winter jacket on with the fur and underneath you can see that there is like a cardigan that's open and then there's a vest that's buttoned and there's a shirt under that <laughs> and then she's got like a skirt that's green and brown plaid and I was like I've never seen so many things on one thing but it all worked how does she make that work it's so bizarre <laughs> like I could not make that work but somehow all of those pieces together work so well on Lulu they just they just seem to fit mm -hmm. I just remember how cute the I remember that day I was like yes yes <laughs> yes can I have this <laughs> yes yes maybe, maybe you sure I can't have it I still am like can I have it <laughs> you sure I can have it are you really gonna like, use it again you <laughs> want me. all of it it's like free people or a lot of anthropology stuff like oh those brands that, that, that jacket with Mark Jacobs huge. wow was there anything that you tried to take from the set like maybe when the show ended like maybe trying to take one of your favorite clothing pieces or a prop yeah. I love that you say try like she didn't succeed <laughs> I, don't, I didn't I will I will I will admit to you today I stole nothing for real okay. I, <laughs> I am a stealer you long so time a lot to me. I did not steal. I really wanted to steal they had I don't know what I would do with them they had these one day I had a shirt that you couldn't wear a bra with and they gave me these like rubber nipple things they were like <laughs> just these <laughs> these, these is a bloop bloop 
<laughs> you just put in your boobs. Sorry, Josh. And uh, <laughs> and I was obsessed with them. They were. So, I was like, this is so useful. I could wear this all the. I don't, I don't really know that it was like. I don't know. <laughs> that, that one really. But um, I really wanted it. And Valerie was like, and I hinted it, and Valerie was like, don't lose them. They're very expensive. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to yeah. go there. The one thing I asked you for. <laughs> I know I want this and I want that Mark Jacobs coat and I only want I wanted everything actually not one yeah Makes sense. all of it <laughs> where did all of Lulu's wardrobe go what so, <laughs> she was on me like a hawk like, wow. <laughs> because <laughs> your Lulu style was her style that's why and that's true <laughs> yeah <laughs> so to bring a little more recent wardrobe. what was it like to come together for a year in the life so trippy <laughs> so trippy some people looked different some people had had visibly grown up some people looked exactly the same some people looked the same but seemed different some people seemed different seemed the same but looked at I don't know what I'm saying but anyway it was just like really trippy because mm -hmm. all this stuff was the same but like it wasn't the same um mm -hmm. I remember in the, the the makeup trailer the the makeup and hair people were just like gossiping their asses off they were like such and such had a baby and so and so got married and da 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 I was like oh my god <laughs> all of, like the behind the scenes is and a lot of people got married and had babies I'll tell you that much <laughs> a lot and they turned to me did you get married and have a baby I was like no. I did not I was like sorry I didn't even like I felt so guilty but um yeah I have nothing so I know <laughs> yeah um it was really cool though I mean it's it, one of those things like you know the, those dreams like oh I'm gonna go back like those like those show those movies where you go back in time and your your dead parents are still alive or something <laughs> 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 like that it's like <laughs> like how did I get back here <laughs> totally yeah time warp it doesn't in my mind it doesn't feel like long ago like you have those memories like it feels like it wasn't long ago but it no, also feels no. like it was a different lifetime at the same time and that was sort of it it was yeah it was very cool though it was definitely a special a special opportunity to revisit that in in a totally different way like revisit what it is just yeah something the, totally the present day version of that yeah. <laughs> now have you heard i know there's mixed a lot of people say they don't know have you heard any talk if they're going to continue having more episodes i know it's kind of like no Ooh, that was it but question. some people are thinking maybe it might come back you have, probably haven't heard I didn't know that was either. still on the boards, the discussion boards. I didn't know oh. that. I, remember, like, <laughs> I think it's more the fans, just wishful thinking. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it's more of a fan discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard anything, honestly. I, I remember it being like a discussion a while back. And I'm sure that if they did that, all of us would be all good ho about it. We just had so much fun. Well, Lauren Graham has a clause in her contracts, apparently. That was what sparked everything. Yeah. Oh, I see. So I'm if, sure Lauren Graham would love it too. I can't yeah. imagine. Maybe she's not. Maybe she doesn't want to, but. Well, she has cool. it in her contract that if she is in another project in Gilmore Girls Call, she's going to be doing Gilmore Girls. Yeah. So that'd be great. That'd be mm -hmm. awesome. I know. I, think that. I know. Really we, we, just, we just want one more. Stars Hollow. One more. <laughs> Everybody yeah. always, who doesn't want to go back to Stars Hollow, right? You know? <laughs> yeah. I have a theory that, I don't know, like not to, I don't really like this topic, but I'm going to say that last year I did a lot. I, I personally like had this strong desire to watch all kinds of old stuff. Oh, stuff from like the eighties and the nineties. I was like, mm. am I the only one? Like, <laughs> like I know that this throwback thing has been big for a minute now already, but I wonder if it's going to hit more of a peak as right. things change right. more and more it's like oh i want more of the old so I that would be I, that would work for us in that case mm -hmm. we all want it it we would yeah it. everybody would feel the nostalgia and, and yeah. push for it and I, I think that would be something to do for sure yeah yeah you well, never like, know tv's airing it again like it's like it's new you know that kind of thing too so i think people are gaining you audiences and people are still watching it but... anything's possible and the internet is such a big deal so the more you guys like <laughs> Right, the the they might be like influential. All <laughs> right, fans, know. stand and let's do this. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it, do it. So the many fandom has arisen. <laughs> what? The fandom has arisen. We have a job to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> also, all the fans need to become like executive producers. At yes, yes, yes I love that idea. I am there. Down. Tell me where to go. That. I will be there. Yep. Great. <laughs> Right. We'll start the GoFundMe to film. <laughs> yeah, just make it It'll be spell. perfect. <laughs> well, I don't know if you know anything about the show Sanditon, but it was something that Master, it was a British show that came over to yeah. Master P- Sanditon. Sanditon? Yes, it was a Jane Austen novel that she never finished and they turned it into oh. a show. Wow. And it's, I run a podcast on that separately, so I'm a little obsessed wow. with it, but they canceled it after season one and it left on such an annoying cliffhanger that we were all so mm. mad. And the fandom was only, I think there was only like maybe 30,000 of us band together and fought so hard that we now have season two and three in the works. Ooh, so really? we could do that for Gilmore Girl. I'm, I think I Gilmore Girl's fandom is bigger than that. It is, yeah. It is. And it's we been around work for a together lot and influence all, because, you know, we know all the connections. We can influence all the right people. <laughs> you guys are like very savvy. I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you, you like make things happen. I think the word you're looking for is annoyingly persistent. <laughs> <laughs> organized force there you go like, yeah. the more i become more girls fans, I'm like wow this is like you guys make it happen you get the podcast the groups the stores the crafts the you just, Ooh, the stores i like where you're going with that yeah, yeah. Whether you have stores like there's get more girls stores everywhere it's great That's awesome <laughs> yep. josh did you have a question to ask yeah, I was going to say, when you were on set with uh, with The Year in the Life, how was, like, I mean, of course, I know Warner Brothers has, you know, that same set and everything else like that. Was everything pretty much the same? I mean, was it super different and they just, you know, shot it to look like it was the same or? Uh, the, the, uh, it was like the trailers were in a different, wait, yeah, my trailer was like in a different place. It was like right near the gazebo. Normally it was in a different area. <laughs> I don't know. It was pretty dang similar. Let's just leave it at that. Yes. It was like, I don't know if it had stayed this. I'm pretty sure they've like re- rebuilt it. It wasn't like exactly. Oh, wow. I, so, I don't think it had stayed the same, but the part that I was in, they rebuilt it. Oh, wow. I'm assuming. I don't know why they would keep it the same otherwise. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, no, it was the same. It was just that they moved so, well, I know the they view. used that set <laughs> for another show that ABC Family did. They used it mm-hmm. for. It was a Pretty Little Liars. Pretty they used Little Liars, thing. yeah. And yeah, then also did. Uh, Heart of Dixie, I think. Is oh, maybe they didn't that. rebuild it then. I Maybe I made that up. There, I don't watch this show, but it was a video that I, I love Jared Padalecki. I just think he's awesome. But yeah. he's in. A, he was in a show, Supernatural, and they have this scene where he oh, and... Yeah. What's Jensen Ackles' character's name? Um, uh, Dean. Sam and oh, Dean. Dean and Dean. Sam, Dean. that's right. Yeah. yeah. They're <laughs> actually... They're taking a studio tour on their oh, little trolley perfect. through... Warner Brothers studio and in oh. in their characters of Sam and Dean in Supernatural like and this is where the Gilmore Girls was shot and Jared Padalecki they kept it in he looked right at the camera and like made the scared face and then he had to jump off and leave so no one <laughs> knew he was really Dean and it was just that was in Supernatural I think uh, a few years after Gilmore Girls had very cute. yeah yeah it was um, funny. okay yeah maybe they kept it the same I don't know I well, think, I wonder I think if maybe it's maybe a mix of both a mix of rebuilding and a mix of mm-hmm. probably yeah you know yeah. Well, Re-finishing. I mean, finishing. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was. I wasn't shooting in like the diner, the the candy shop, or the um the dance studio, which is what I was most used to doing. I was mm-hmm. in the movie theater, and they and it it was just kind of there were like stuff. There were tarps hanging, and so I don't really remember um if that's exactly how that was because I only done one day in there before back in the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why I was thinking maybe they had changed some things around, but maybe it was the same. It was just like I wasn't used to being from that angle. And yeah. <laughs> coming from that angle. <laughs> I will say though that one reason to have a third one is, and this is not just to pander to you, but I really feel like we didn't get enough Kirk and Lulu in a year in the oh, life. Definitely not. Because it was, I think it had to be so condensed that they had to choose which characters got the spotlight. And I feel like they had I, so many people coming back. Yes, yeah. so many. Yeah. And I feel like I wanted to know more about where Kirk and Lulu were. And that, again, that's not just a pain in view. I genuinely wanted to know where Kirk and Lulu were and how they were doing. Oh, how, did they, yeah. how did they decide on a pig to adopt? Like, the more, the more I talk, the more like I talk about the show with, with, um, with like Gilmore fans, it's like, I get curious too. I'm like, there's so much fun stuff in there. There really is. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I, I would watch an entire show just Lulu and Kirk. I mean, just like yeah. you could do like eight That'd seasons awesome. just them. You know, yes. I would, I would yeah. absolutely yeah. watch that. It'd just be Kirk going nuts and Lulu like. 
picking up after you and helping you. Going along with you, picking up the pieces along the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even just to get a glimpse inside the house where you guys live, like that. Yeah. I really want to see what your guys' decorating them. style would be. Totally, right? Yeah. I think it would feel similar to like Liz and TJ's house. It was very quirky. Like every wall was a different color and all those. Uh -huh. things. So I, I kind of see that yeah. something like that, but that would have been cool. It would really just all be part. pink. There you go. It would be all, all be, be what? Pink. It would just all be pink. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely I feel like they, those two probably sat down and like went to town decorating their home. Well, yeah. mother had to have some sort of say in it. I mean, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Toilets and such. <laughs> so was there any point in time when you were reading the scripts or doing the show and you had been on it for a few, because you were on it for the last four seasons, right? Four, yeah. five, six, and seven, four so. seasons. Was there ever a point in time when you thought, wow, this show is going to last a really long time or this show is going to really be awesome and have a huge following? Was there any point in time where you actually thought that? No, I swear I am like not a person who thinks we're on the I'm like over here, like what, where? Yeah, okay. Like, I don't know. I like books. Like I really had no concept of what was going on. I really like, didn't. What was when it like did when you realized you that? Because now you're doing fan fest every year. So I mean you've got to have there's a lot of people that go to the fan fest. So there's gotta be some sort of indication now, right? Of of what? of how big this show is. Oh, totally. I'm so moved by all the, all the stories I hear about, especially mother daughters, about um, people who, uh, the friendships, like these people who speak every night on, on uh, FaceTime or whatever, mm -hmm. just like these, these, just the support, the community um, and the craftiness, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> the craftiness in this, yeah. in this go world. A lot of the creativity, craftiness. a lot of people writing books. Um, but yeah, just in such kind, good vibes. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot of people. I really, I'm really, um, it's just a nice, one of those nice, wonderful surprises that something I was involved in happened to um, touch a lot of people. And not even like necessarily <laughs> at the time, but like after the fact, like it's just wonderful. Oh. So yeah, speaking awesome. of craftiness, uh, we know you're doing the soap. I have one. I have the coffee one. It coffee, smells coffee, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it was really cool. I saw it when I saw the coffee. I was like, I have to have that. I'm a bit of a, you know, coffee nerd myself too. Oh, so. <laughs> so other than soap making, are you working on any current projects right now or? I've been doing voiceovers for some video games that are warish. There are we weapons screaming. <laughs> are you one of the ones screaming? Oh yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Can you give us the name? I it's gonna come out in like November. I don't. I'm not done yet, so I'm not gonna yet. Sorry. She I can't I tell. Well. It's a secret. <laughs> I I can, but soon. Like I just need to wait till I've done recording. Yep. I think. I need to like make sure because they did let me sign some things and like. <laughs> The, the reality is I'm probably not going to like find this podcast and get me in trouble. I don't even know. All I know is I'm scared. You know, but, it's um, the CIA thing again. <laughs> you'll reach out to us. You'll reach out to Josh when you have it completed so we can promote the, the game on our page. I absolutely we'll will. Yes. Thank you. I'd be so thrilled. If, yeah. For all y'all war game players. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> just this fun thing I, I used to love making soaps with, with like girlfriend and I got into it and then um I was making them for the the fan fest and um oh. I think the last in-person one I had some left over and one of the fans was like why don't I just set up an Etsy shop for you and we'll see wow. we'll sell them and I was like oh thanks sure <laughs> are you still making them and she sold them yes and then I and then she I basically took it over because I was like uh, I'd love to keep making some it's you know, and, and she's like, I don't want any part of it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she just handed me this fully informed Etsy yeah. shop. And, um, and I've just been uh, having a really good time creating styles. And Can you tell so us what the name stuff. of the Etsy shop is? Because I'm going to get that coffee one for my husband. He uh, Whenever we get body wash, he's like, can it please, just can it be coffee scented, please? <laughs> so I have um, that one for, for men. And then I have one that, that's like a soap on a rope for men. 
but I can make any of them selves in a row. <laughs> I love it. True, yeah. yeah, it's just so fun. Anyway, um, it's called Belle of the Bath, like Rainy Bell, and then Belle of the oh, Bath. Oh, that's such a cute name. Thank yeah, you. it is. <laughs> you are yeah, creative. Thank They're you. The, the link is on my Facebook and my Instagram. Okay. Um, in case it's hard to find, I don't know. Sometimes Etsy searches are a little confusing. Yeah. And um, yeah. So um, I've just been having fun with making styles. I'm always open to more ideas for styles of soaps. And I just love making soaps because it's feels like a child playing with Play-Doh. <laughs> there is absolutely the nothing is wrong with that. No. Nope. I, I, you know, I haven't used it. Obviously, I guess you're not supposed to use these, but I just put them out here and, and smell the coffee all day. So it's probably- you're not supposed to, <laughs> you're use, not them. Supposed to use them. <laughs> you're just supposed to admire them from afar. <laughs> but, it's, but it's no good, you know. I have a lot of, yeah, a lot of people say that they, 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 they keep them and they save them. It's really sweet. You should use it. <laughs> right. And then buy more and order another one. Right. Exactly. That's right. I don't have to just purchase more. That's right. I have a friend of mine who makes candles and it smells so potent that I've never actually had to lit it. Until I just lit it in one of our podcasts the other day, but I just leave it open and I randomly just smell it and I didn't have to light it at all. Yeah. And I was like, it is nice to see it live its full life. <laughs> But I appreciate, I appreciate the, the appreciation. It's really <laughs> there you go. It was just it too pretty. Gift, I get it. Yeah. Bethany, oh, did you have a question you wanted to ask? Yeah, I did have a question. I just want to know, uh, what was your favorite scene to shoot uh, in the original series? And then I, I guess, obviously, you know, you're in the life wasn't as broad, but just in general, what was your favorite scene to shoot? Um, okay, so I'm going to not talk about the exploding window for for because we've already covered that so I think <laughs> um, my favorite was um it might have been like the um it's a toss-up between the, the 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 first date um and the day that i oh no i know what it is that's easy it's um the fiddler on the roof oh yes oh, um <laughs> when kirk's wagon wasn't broken enough <laughs> I, I don't remember that sorry luke we had, had to kick the wagon. wagon so it was hard <laughs> the wagon luke had he, kirk was upset that he, he was a method actor and he couldn't get into it because the wagon was too easy to pull so luke had to brick it sorry yeah, i, I watched that. it like 45 times so I just... yeah <laughs> thank you yeah no i'm gonna have to go back now and watch it so that see these interactions see how it's useful when i know what's happening <laughs> i do love you and that, that one of my favorite parts from that is when you take Brad up to the counter with Luke and you're trying to ask him to say it and he couldn't get it out and he had an asthma attack and you're like, great job, Brad. But he didn't even- That was one of my favorites too. It was just like this funny bunch of stuff and um, I get to talk a lot, which (laughs) is just fun. And and I just love the whole atmosphere of the play and these crazy Broadway children and- um, and the interactions with Luke about um, him helping me. I had a lot of fun with oh, this one. The, what is it, eyes up here where, where you're snapping at Luke? Yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I got to teach her it out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of Kirk, uh, Kirk and his crazy, uh, crazy jobs, what's your favorite uh, crazy job that Kirk had? Um, maybe the... Um, <clears throat> okay, I don't know all the jobs really, um, but I, I I I like the the movie the movie maker because I really like the movie he made. So maybe that one, and then the dancing and stuff. I like that stuff, like the dancing and the movies. And the TV <laughs> and the That's awesome. Yeah. I th- I think so too. I would absolutely have to agree with that. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm sticking with That's that. That's crazy. What do you think about the fan theory that? Um, Taylor is actually Kirk's dad and that's kind of why he's able to do all the different jobs because Taylor's kind of supporting him and giving him jobs throughout Stars Hollow. I hadn't heard that one until recently and I was like whoa. That's, <laughs> I a, that's a big one. That's a big like. That's a huge fan theory. theory. I was like what? <laughs> I don't buy that uh, one. You don't buy it? I feel like I need to go back and like like reassess. I think maybe it's more like a father figure. Maybe he kind yeah. of felt pity, pity on Kirk and he kind of wanted to help him out. There is but a similarity. I think... like, he's kind of hard on him, but they're like similar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're both so quirky. So they're kind of like outcasts. So I think maybe that's yeah. where that connection comes from. Yeah. yeah but... <laughs> it makes sense in a way. Like I get it. Like 
like energetically to yeah. <laughs> I think Taylor is just so involved in himself and what he's doing, what he's gotta do. Yeah. He's got all these other things that I just I genuinely don't think he's ever had a relationship with anyone ever. <laughs> right. Remember, maybe, maybe on that cruise that. that we didn't hear anything about, and he just came back with that black toupee. <laughs> maybe then. <laughs> he got really drunk and he got really like. Yeah. <laughs> so Amanda has some. Um, we have our Facebook group is Gilmore Girls Gilmore Family Fan Club, and we asked them if they had questions for you. We had a bunch. Bethany has been reading some, and then Amanda's got some that she would like to ask from our group page. Yeah. All right. Let's go. I have them all pulled up. Um, let's start with Eve asked, what was it like working with Sean Gunn? Mm-hmm. Um, all right. I've kind of answered this already. Yeah. Let me see if I can. <laughs> um, word it in just a couple different words in there. <laughs> I know. Uh, I think it's just, and everybody I don't know. That's the same it's thing. Really nice. <laughs> I don't know. Kinda it was like, great. He was nice. Yeah, okay is he fun. as is sean because i i my husband and i for like we love him in guardians of the galaxy too and he always plays quirky is he as quirky in real life as he is in the characters that he plays well i mean he's like a little more fully formed. <laughs> did you say fully formed yeah he's got like more than one side <laughs> He's a little, he's like a serious person and he's <laughs> absolutely silly too. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is the best interview by date. <laughs> this is great. What? This is the best interview by date. This is great. <laughs> oh, did I say something I didn't mean to say? No, <laughs> no you're great. You're awesome. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have another one from Sadie who wants to ask, what moment in the series do you think defined Lulu as a character? Um, I feel like the, let's see, I don't know that there was a moment that defined Lulu as a character so much, but the closest would be the maybe the 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 speech to to Luke maybe that we were talking about um because you really see her in her professional power <laughs> yeah. um and other than that I'm basically the sweet sweet girlfriend and those 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 little colors of the relationship mostly I want to say um yeah all right all right and also Tiffany asked are you still friends with anyone you met on set um well it's been like a really nice uh opportunity during these these fan fest gatherings um sometimes we all see each other um whoever goes sees each other and um I've gotten to know some people I didn't really work with and uh and sometimes um people have here have organized events um one of the writers, Stan Zimmerman, he, he's put a lot of us in plays that he's been directing. Um, so we all go to see them or we have gone to see them. And, um, and, and sometimes, yeah, so it's, that's been, uh, there's been a lot of, you know, Jenny and Marcus from the fan fest have come out and, and organized gatherings. And um, it's just been a nice way to keep in touch. It's hard keeping in touch in LA because everybody lives so far. And so mm-hmm. far. Everybody's busy. <laughs> No, Taryn, one thing Taryn had said to me is that um, Valerie Campbell was pretty instrumental in ha- making sure everyone stayed connected. Valerie, Valerie does that, yeah. She um, she is, is a very, uh, yeah, she's very good at staying in touch with everybody. Everybody. It's a big <laughs> job on this set. I mean, Gilmore Girls has a, it's a huge cast. Yeah, but I think that's something she really, she really um, puts, makes a point of doing is Mm -hmm. like staying in touch with everybody like she's uh, and she's also got the personality for it she's like super um multitasking like very um she's just like very she's kind of like marcus and jenny like she can like not sleep she's just crazy (laughs) i I get tired so fast and she never gets tired ever (laughs) and um yeah like she's always up for hanging out she's yeah I do have a question about the fan fest before we go on. Now, have you been involved in that since there's it's been what is this year four? 
You're five. Have you been in it from the beginning? I have had the pleasure of going every year that it's happened. And I can't remember how many it's been. I, I think five. I but feel like this is the was fifth. virtual last year. Yeah. And I didn't even get to that one. I was so mad. It was only $35. I promoted it on our page and I kept forgetting to log in. Yeah. <laughs> I was back here. I, I, I wanted to do it, but we were so busy. Yeah. It's been it's been such a such a charming experience. Um, the town where we do it in, in, in Connecticut is just adorable and um, just nothing but, like I said, nothing but good vibes from all the fans. We all get to interact and hang out. And, that's awesome. Yeah, that's can you we'll can you describe there, kind of the experience with the fans that come a little bit? Uh, well, my event is usually I'm selling my soaps and um, and I just hang out and say hi and people check them out if they want. No pressure <laughs> and um, do a lot of pictures. Hi, soap. <laughs> no pressure at all. It's just so fun. It's just, it's just my fun thing. Uh, we have sometimes I'll go hang out with other people at their events and. Um, some people ask a lot of questions. Um, at some of them, it's very question and answer. Some people have more of a demonstration. Like um, the guy who plays Caesar does like a cooking demonstration. Oh, he actually um, cooks. That's cool. Oh wow! Did one. Wow. Yeah, where he cooked because there's a woman you might know, Christy, um, who uh, wrote a bunch of cookbooks about Christy the Carlson. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I forget the. Uh, I just got the. Like I think it's like a Gilmore. Yeah, <laughs> I just got yeah. for my mom for Mother's Day. Yeah, it's it's a really beautiful book. Um, and he did like a recipe from that uh, with her. And then, I don't know, everyone has their own event. I think um, um, Emily, um, uh, Mrs. Uh, Kim uh, mm -hmm. did, was like at the local uh, <laughs> the furniture store or something. Oh, and everyone came oh, in and like oh, talked to oh. her. She's still like going to character. Like she's constantly doing skits and stuff. Oh, that's so um, cool the fans and uh so every single actor and writer and this i think there's some producers and um the, the customer and the people are whoever's there um uh we just have our different events kind of we get to decide or they'll come up with something if we don't want to do that and then uh there's a cast some cast panels there's some a lot of fan events like um knit-a-thons or something I don't know. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, that's and there's like parties where we all hang out. That's awesome. That is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this year's my year. Yeah, I oh, think I'm looking come. forward to it. It's oh. going to be such good vibes this year. I feel like it's going to be like, yeah, a lot of happy people. I think so. All reunited. Happy to yeah. get together again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we'll right. go as a family fan club. It'll be perfect. Mm -hmm. yes yeah. we'll do a podcast from there from there that would, that be, would be cool yeah. on location <laughs> totally you'll have like so many of us will be on there then <laughs> I love it. that'd be awesome yeah we, we only have a couple more questions too um eve asked what are and you could just do one of them what are some of your favorite memories from being on set have like we with the cast that? Mm, the cast, the not cast? with filming, not with the scenes, but like just being on set in general. Yeah. Well, what was his name? The director of the first couple of episodes I did was like a Janet Jackson dancer. Really? <laughs> and, yeah. And I like knew all the moves of all of the Janet Jackson and he was so sweet to me. And I was like doing them for him. Yeah. Aww. yeah. That's cool. That was a good memory, people. <laughs> That's awesome. That was really awesome. I remember like sitting down in um, Scott's chair and he came over and he was like out <laughs> I, was like, what? I didn't realize i was in his chair i didn't, I didn't know that it was like a big big no-no um, those are some memories of early on now you were just um, on scott's podcast not that long ago right no i haven't done his podcast oh oh, oh. yeah where, i would where did, before him i did um, um the the vibe with Kai. Do you guys, what's that did you do uh did you john cabrera's podcast yeah yeah i did uh i did the episode i think i think it the was clubhouse the where he's watching yeah, it live it's first, not necessarily a podcast where he watches yeah it live. <laughs> what what yeah, yeah. That's what i should have said the watch yeah, it's like totally back, yeah. <laughs> podcast <was woo. laughs> yeah you should definitely all right and 
my memory's horrible. So if you've already answered questions, just tell me to shush. Okay. <laughs> you can make your, the, the horror film love of that you have, you can make that come out when she's asking. Yeah. You go. Yeah. You yeah. <laughs> just scream at me. It's okay. It's fine. No, she's used to it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Shelby asked, who is your favorite person to work with? Oh gosh. Um, well, everybody was just completely inspiring and I was all excited because Lauren was like such a star and she was so um, welcoming and kind and made me feel so at home and I was so excited. But that being said, even though all these wonderful people, I loved working with everybody, but it was especially fun to be around Sally Struthers and Liz, uh. um, Miss, um, Miss Patty and yep. I'm sorry, Babette. 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 Um, when they got together, the two of them, they would just go off on these theater stories. It was all about what husband left them for what secretary <laughs> and like <laughs> the dancing and all the, all the, you know, just the parties and the, the gossip from like the seventies. And it was just like sitting around a warm fire, just listening to the most colorful stories and they never quit. They were always on. So, uh, yeah, these were like, they're like born show women. Like, mm -hmm. they're going to die performing. <laughs> like, I, would, I would love to be <laughs> friends with those two. Oh, that, yeah. I said, I would love to be friends with those two. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're easy to be friends with, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. They had kind words for everyone, the extras, everyone. And, um, yeah, they treated everyone like friends. So, those, and they were so funny. Like, one day, Sally was like, I'm going to go in my purse. She had this purse. It was like bigger than the street it was so big and uh and she was pulling out all these strange things in it like she had like an extend a fork <laughs> like, you know, just things up across the room she had like you know punch cards to everything there's like a cookie there was like uh there there were crazy things in there i can't remember what else i was being send a fork was definitely my my favorite they're so, like amazing what's in sally's purse <laughs> That's a game that all college students now play in their fraternities and their sororities is what's in Sally Struthers' purse. <laughs> it was just constant. It was like, what is she saying? What? It was just constant. It was so fun. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> She's my favorite. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm she was another one who, when I was a kid, my, my stepdad would watch all in the family. Oh, yeah. And so oh. it took me a while to connect that dot. But by season two, I was like, I got it. I know who she is. This is a, it just made She's my life grow. Yes. She's big stuff in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Liz, yeah, too. Very... Wasn't she pretty big? With, um, Liz Torres? Yes. Yeah. Yes. She was on what? Larry's. She won an Emmy for Larry. Mm -hmm. Well, she was oh. also on All in the Family. Too. She was, yeah. 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 yeah these, these... Not together. Well, but she was. Liz Torres was only in there for a few episodes, I believe. Yeah. But her character was so iconic that even for those few episodes, it's like, yeah. it felt like she was just such a huge part of the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you forget I, I she's only was in a few. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me I too. Know. Same here. It's like, wait, it was that short of a time frame that she was in there. But that just goes to show, like you're saying, they're just such wonderful performers that, I mean, she just really Big created presence. such an impact in that, in that character. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Did you have a moment on set where you're like, Oh my gosh, I know who that is. And you're a little starstruck or did you, are you pretty well in your world that you, you don't get starstruck so much? Both. I mean, I've lived in LA for a long time. Like, That's I'm true. <laughs> I live in a town of 5,000 in Wisconsin. So for me, it's a little bit different. <laughs> I sat down to Jenna Jackson once at a cafe. I lost my mind, but I didn't like go up to her and talk to her. There are limits. There are limits. <laughs> yeah so but like 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 these people were you know like I recognized like the first maybe the first day on set I recognized all the main actors and I was very excited I'd already seen them at the table read but whatever I was still very excited <laughs> because I recognized them the most most of the other actors I didn't recognize as much mm -hmm. I didn't know as much about their careers they were all like these prolific wonderful talented great resumes you know and yeah. like um yeah. but I didn't like I was the most excited mostly by like Lauren, recognized Scott, um, recognized Rory, but she was like my age, so it wasn't as intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was just the, the main stars. They were, just, especially Lauren, she was just so, so it, was, it meant so much to me. Like I didn't mm -hmm. realize it meant so much to me. She was just like, you're adorable, you're wonderful. And I was like, what? 
Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, you look good today. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I think I'm excited. <laughs> I'm trying to not act excited because I don't want to get dark. <laughs> she was the star and she was amazing. I've seen yeah. her on interviews and she seems to me very much like Lorelai Gilmore. I don't know. I didn't get to know her, like know yeah. her. I feel like she was, you know, there, when you're the star like that, mm -hmm. I'm not, she's not showing me who she really is. We're not yeah. friends. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I can't say that. I wouldn't be surprised um, knowing some, who some of her friends are. There's definitely some colorful people. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I, yeah. I just know that she was, she, she yeah, she's just a, a blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> I got you. We followed along with that perfectly. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's up to you. <laughs> if you could add more to Lulu's story, what would it be? Um, well, that's such a fun question because, yeah, it's, um, well, I mean, I feel like the writers have done such a good job of making Kirk so colorful that my work is like done. All I have to do is be with him. Um, <laughs> I, I would love, I love diving into the teacher thing because teachers are so fun. Um, teachers as dealing with children and like all of this. <laughs> it's supposed to be cute, but we all know it's not always cute. Amanda and, was a preschool was a teacher. <laughs> What's that? Amanda was a preschool teacher for 11 years. Oh, well that, that actually sounds adorable, little ones. Aww. They're not like, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I loved okay. them. I loved there are them. Moments of rage. There's going to be moments of you know terror and rage, right? <laughs> like, I love. I loved every single one of my babies. So I can't say anything bad about it. Yeah, little ones. Yeah. But it is a stressful job. Right. Right. Your administration and all the the small town Stars Hollow Elementary stuff, yeah. like the, the politics of it. That'd be really fun yeah. to for me to. My mom was a teacher. Um, she taught like ESL. It's a little more specific, but oh, my I dad taught ESL that. for years. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's just messy. Like all the all the paperwork, all the people in charge and personalities and like these this small town mentality and like how you have to deal with everything. Meanwhile, I come from this very un Lulu, I'm imagining from this very unconventional home with my crazy partner and my pig child. And <laughs> I don't even know if they have human children. I think it'd be fun fun to see with human children, but I'm a little more interested in the animal children. Uh, <laughs> And just seeing more of that relationship and how we humanize this pig. That's my that's my dream for you. That's where I want to go. <laughs> that would be a wonderful it. story to see. I think that'd be cool to see that someday. But <laughs> thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, and we we do have one final question um, from, from Michelle. Facebook. Yeah, from Michelle, and she is saying, "I lost it." Oh. <laughs> she's uh are you working on any new projects i gotta reverb her verbiage <laughs> um, so you are working on the video game you have your soul no i kind of already so. told you what i'm working on I'm doing voiceovers yeah. right now um <laughs> do you have anything that's more. any voiceovers that you can tell us even even post gilmore not necessarily like right now but post yeah, anything you want to promote. promote that we Nothing can put on i want to promote <laughs> <laughs> stuff that pays the bills that y'all don't need to know about um, that sounds ominous and terrifying yeah like boring stuff but um uh no not really so i definitely will be sharing stuff with you though i can't wait to you will Good. know Yay. when i want you to know awesome. <laughs> and we'll keep pushing for another year in the life yeah. There All you right. go. I will. It's such we'll, a fun idea. Why not? We're right. gonna, yeah. You're gonna be our you're gonna be our spokesperson and we're <laughs> gonna get the whole fandom gathered up to rally behind Rini Bell for there you three. go. <laughs> <laughs> She's in three it. a year in the life of Kirk and Lulu. Oh, there you go. A year in the life of Kirk yeah. and Lulu. <laughs> well, Rini, we thank you so much for coming on. And you were you're so fun to talk thank to. I was struggling you know, thinking like I don't, I don't know if I want to end this because it's just, it's oh. fun and you make it, you, you yeah. make it really fun and natural to talk with you. And we really, really appreciate you. We love your character. We love you as a human being and we're, we're thankful for you being on with us. Oh, likewise. You guys are awesome. It's <laughs> such a treat in my life that this community has happened. Yeah. It's been, um, 
full of surprises and happy ones. I imagine. You want to catch up with Rini Bell a little bit more, see what she's up to. She's got Bell of the Bath um, soaps, and we will put that link in the podcast description. You can always check out our Facebook page of Gilmore Girls, Gilmore Family Fan Club. Josh is showing you the awesome soap. It actually has, are those real coffee beans or are they like soap coffee I'm- beans? I think real coffee are. beans? I did try yes. that. That was not positive. Those are not real coffee beans. <laughs> are they they really? bleed. They look. They make this like blood, just just like <laughs> <makes sense. laughs> circle of death. They're not attractive. Oh, they interesting. Those are not real coffee beans. They're soap coffee beans. They fooled me. <laughs> they yeah, look they look real. Big, yeah. <laughs> Josh thought that's where all the aroma came from. Just those three beans on top. <laughs> Yeah, that would be amazing. I know. So you don't want organic stuff in soaps. It's organic. You don't want like real foods in soaps, unfortunately. That makes sense. That makes you do want them, but you don't. <laughs> so check out our Facebook group if you have any questions about what Rini's up to or, or things that we've asked her about. Feel free to reach out to us at Gilmore Family Fan Club 2021 at gmail.com and we can get them to her. Rini, do you have any social media you want to put out to to the listeners so they know what's you and what's not you? I'm on Instagram. I don't know. We need Miss Rini, Ms. Rini Bell. I don't know what I am. Rini Bell. I don't know. You will be terrified, right? I don't think there are fake Rini Bells. I don't know. Never. But, know. Um, well, I think you. I think you'll be able to tell. And um, and then there's a Facebook, but I'm mostly on Instagram, and I I do some stuff on Facebook. Anyway, I'm so happy for any any of y'all to to connect and um, check out my soaps and just like follow me and chat with me and stuff and fan fest is coming up in october right yeah it's like very limited this year but next year we'll blow it up but this year <laughs> peacefully yeah. so look into the group fan fest Reedy's almost always a part of that and there's never been one she hasn't been a part of so check out that check out what they're doing check out what they're doing with the actors and actresses and if you have any questions, reach us on Twitter. We have some variation of family fan clubs. I don't know the exact name. Same with Instagram, <laughs> some variation of family fan clubs. We're also on TikTok. Again, some variation of family fan clubs. I should probably FB. know the names at some point. Family fan clubs. Yep. So we're on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and we have our email. If you want to be a part of this or ask us questions about what we do, if you want to know more, reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. We'd like to hear what you think of the podcast. Remember, if you are on anyone that allows you to rate or subscribe, please do that. The more you do that, the more listeners we get, the more we can bring you the content you want to see. So make sure to do that. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye.